Welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, home of South Jersey Sports. Let's get started by talking about Deshaun Jackson. He will have surgery Tuesday, November 5th on his abdominal muscle. Jackson could miss roughly six weeks recovering. The Temple Owls are 5-3 on the season. They will take on South Florida on Thursday. Let's get win number six. Five, five, five for the cherry and the white. The Villanova Wildcats are 6-3 on the season. They will take on Richmond on Saturday. Let's get win number seven of the season. Nova, Nova, Nova. The Penn Quakers are 3-4 on the season. They will take on Cornell on Saturday. Let's get win number four. The Philadelphia Eagles are 5-4 on the season. We will have to wait at least one week for the birds to return to action. Fly, Eagles, fly. The Philadelphia Flyers are 6-5-2 and, and have 14 points. They will take on the Carolina Hurricanes on Tuesday, Montreal Canadiens on Thursday, the Toronto Maple Leafs on Saturday, and the Boston Bruins on Sunday. Let's get win number seven. Go Flyers, go! The Philadelphia 76ers are off to a good start with a 5-0 record. They will take on the Utah Jazz on Wednesday, Denver Nuggets on Friday, and the Charlotte Hornets on Sunday. Let's get win number six. Go Sixers! Good luck to all our local teams. It's time to recap the 2019 World Series. Steven Strasburg paraded the MVP trophy for fans packed behind the dugout. Max Scherzer tearfully hugged his teammates. Gerardo Power did the baby shark chop. Sean Doolittle flapped snow angels next to the mound. Almost out of contention in May, champs in October. Howie Kendrick, Anthony Rendon, and the Washington Nationals completed their amazing comeback journey, fittingly with one last late rally on the road. In Game 7 of the World Series, no less. Kendrick and Rendon homered in the 7th inning as the Nationals overcame a 2-1 deficit, rocketing the Houston Astros 6-2 Wednesday night to win the first World Series title in franchise history. Congratulations to the Washington Nationals for winning the World Series. You deserve it! It's time to preview the Temple Owls vs. South Florida Bulls game. Conference playing the American Athletic Conference continues in the national spotlight on Thursday night, with a battle between the top two programs in the AAC East the past two seasons. Temple may have won the division the past two seasons, but South Florida is the prohibitive favorite this season. The Bulls also are looking for revenge from a road loss last season that proved critical in the division and conference championship hunt. USF looks like an easy favorite in this one as the veteran program, while Temple is younger and still coming together under new head coach Jeff Collins and his staff. If Temple is going to threaten USF, the Owls must find a way to knock Quentin Flowers off his game. One of the strengths of the last few seasons for Temple has been the defense. This season, with a new coaching staff, and a good amount of roster turnover from 2016. Getting off the field on third down has been a struggle for Temple at times. The Owls ranked 106 in the nation in third down defense a year after finishing the season 20th in FBS in the category. Opponents are converting 45.2% of their third down conversion attempts against Temple. Good luck to the Temple Owls on Thursday night. It's time for pick six. I went four and two last week, where the 49ers go to eight and zero. Houston, we have liftoff. The Eagles fly high. The Bills buck off the Redskins. Denver gallops over the Browns, and the Ravens fly high. It's week ten of the NFL season. Which teams will win on Thursday and Sunday? Let's get started with the Los Angeles Chargers versus Oakland Raiders and AFC West showdown. The Los Angeles Chargers came away with a much-needed win over the Packers, 26-11. The Raiders defeated the Detroit Lions by a score of 31-24. to 
I have the Los Angeles Chargers winning in Oakland and going to 5 and 4. Kansas City Chiefs versus Tennessee Titans. The Kansas City Chiefs are back in the win column, winning 26 to 23 over the Minnesota Vikings. Tennessee lost to Carolina 30 to 20. I predict the Kansas City Chiefs will go to 7 and 3. Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. Detroit Lions versus Chicago Bears and NFC North Showdown. The Detroit Lions lost at Oakland 31-24 to drop their record to 3-5-1. What is going on with these Chicago Bears? They are on a four-game losing streak, losing to Oakland, New Orleans, LA Chargers, and Philadelphia. I have the Chicago Bears winning and breaking their four-game losing streak. The Bears! Atlanta Falcons versus New Orleans Saints. The Atlanta Falcons have only one win this season, losing to Seattle 27-20. The New Orleans Saints are 7-1, winning 31-9 over the Cardinals. I have the New Orleans Saints winning their 8th straight game. Who dat nation? Carolina Panthers versus Green Bay Packers. The Carolina Panthers are 5-3 with a 30-20 win over the Titans in Charlotte. The Green Bay Packers lost at Los Angeles 26-11. Sorry, Panther fans. The Packers are going back in the win column. Go, Pack, go! Los Angeles Rams versus Pittsburgh Steelers. The Los Angeles Rams are 5-3 with a 24-10 win over the Bengals in London. The Steelers are 4-4 with a 26-24 win on a missed field goal. I have the Los Angeles Rams going into Pittsburgh and getting win number 6. Go LA! Go LA! Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments running and we will talk to you next week.